Thank you for joining me on this TMK Essentials training video. This is part five, downloading spreadsheets slash custom formats. My name is Ron, I am tech support with Hoi Information Service. Okay, in order to create a custom format, you're gonna open up this format dropdown and you're gonna check mark custom and you're gonna hit this select button. If you don't see custom or these clear and save buttons within within your format dropdown, you do need to come into settings. So on your main menu, left hand side, down at the bottom settings, click on that, formats. And it's these two options down here. Let me save formats and let me design custom formats. Go ahead and place your check marks, hit save. Um, you may or may not need to log out, log back in for that particular setting to, to take place. Um, but anyway, so once you do that, you're gonna open up your format and you're gonna see these buttons up here your custom and you clear in your save. Okay, so creating a custom format, check mark custom, hit select. And you're gonna get a couple columns here. Um, notice the colors, so blue is your property data, pink is your sales, green is your building, um, etc. So you can, everything is alphabetical, but if you did want to help sort through, like maybe you're not doing sales data at all, you can uncheck sales notice the pinks are all hidden so now you're only stuck with all the blues it just helps you to kind of clean up um, what you're scrolling through because there are tons and tons of fields in here you can also type in field name so i am going to type in here tax key i want my tax key first so what i'm doing is i'm building my custom format i am um, i'm selecting the columns that are going to be shown on either my custom format search results or within the spreadsheet that i'm going to download so i want tax key first then I want tenure, then maybe I want the owner name, bedrooms total, maybe some baths, the full baths total, half baths total. Mm, okay, that should be okay for now. Okay, so selected fields on the bottom, it's gonna show you what you've clicked on. Um, what you build in here from top to bottom is, left, is gonna be, correspond left to right on your results. So if, for example, I wanted to put the owner in the number one spot, I can just be using these little arrows. And then I'm going to have owner on the left column. Next will be tax key, next will be tenure, etc. If you made a mistake, feel free to click the little X to throw them away. And this heart. This heart is the uh, favorite that um, that you can click on and it'll add to your favorites. So for, so this um, right hand side, these are these are these have been favorited already on this account. So for example, if I wanted to add bedrooms total as a favorite I just click on it it goes up top here it's just to to quickly click on these rather than scrolling through maybe it's just some field that you you're you use a lot just place them up here okay once you build your custom format scroll down hit apply changes it tells the system you want to use that go ahead and enter in your search And run your search okay so it looks kind of similar to TMK one line but this is the uh, I customly built this so I have my owner first my tax key tenure bedrooms bath etc so um, so yeah pretty simple just go and build it hit your search this is what you're gonna get and notice this does kind of look like an Excel sheet so let's modify in order to download what you've just built you want to open up your format drop down Go over to your options tab up here and you're going to check mark download format when you check mark download format you're going to get another drop down so you can select what type of download or what type of file you want the system to create so by default you're going to get excel format with active links so it's going to create an excel or xls document you can select without links or you can go csv which stands for comma separated value you're going to mostly use this when you're exporting to another program and that program requires a CSV and is most likely going to require it to be in a certain order. So you just make sure when you're building the custom format to know exactly what order that program wants it in. And then you select this, run your download, and it'll generate the file for you. Okay, let's stick with the default uh, Excel with active links. So just check mark download format. Um, if you notice, um, or when you do check mark download format, if you click back over to formats, custom is the only option. So if you are downloading, you do need to build your custom format. 
Um, one common issue is people will check mark download format and they'll run the download, but it's going to be a totally blank Excel file. It's because nothing was selected in custom. So just be aware of that. That's a call we do get a lot. Why is my Excel blank? It's because you didn't build your custom format. Okay, so um, everything looks good. Let's hit search now. So this is um, indicating that it is generating the, the download on our servers. Chrome places my download down on the bottom here. Firefox is going to be upper right hand side. Uh, Internet Explorer, I'm not sure where Internet Explorer is placing it. I, I don't remember. But once you get your download, go ahead and open it up. Um, normally this would open up with Excel, but on this computer, I don't have Excel on it. So I am opening up the program within Internet Explorer. Normally I would be able to, you know, manipulate um, columns and create formulas, add up all the beds or something. But, but yeah, so this is um, the spreadsheet that I downloaded. Just imagine this is in Excel. Um, when I selected with active links, what it generated for me was this TMK column. The TMK number is is the only link out of the selected fields that I used. Um, so so yeah, I didn't specifically place this column in here when I built it, but because I selected with active links, it gave me this column. Um, this is clickable, so I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna open me up in MLS. I mean, excuse me, a TMK full sheet that you can look through. Okay, so that's what that is. This is an example of a of an of an Excel sheet that I downloaded, an a spreadsheet that I downloaded. Okay, Let's minimize you down. Okay, so um, pretty easy. Um, it's just you gotta know the steps. So options is where you're gonna select where you download. Under formats, you do need to use custom, and you do need to select your. Uh, your selected fields to actually the the selected columns to download when you're downloading something okay okay um, if you are going to be using it multiple times you can save your custom format so you're gonna hit this blue save button I'm gonna hit save do not overwrite your my default format take that away name it something else and hit your blue save button okay um, I'm gonna do something else, just kind of similar to our uh, example earlier. Just saving something else I can show you on, on when I use my original. Okay, so um, in order to save the custom format, hit that blue save button, name it something, hit save, and then it saves. In order to bring it back up, so say you just logged in, you're gonna want to click over to the saved tab, scroll through your list, and hit the use next to. Um, you know whatever you named it uh, you can also hover so if I hover over this my team case essentials um, the uh, save name it gives me what I have selected so I have in my custom owner tax key tax key tenure bedrooms total etc etc um, these are some other customs that got built earlier by default for customs yeah so you just hit the use button and you're you automatically reloaded what you saved okay back to the formats okay so um, again make sure you select your custom formats if you want to save it hit the save if you want to bring up your saved you hit the saved tab up top to tell the system you want to download you go over to options download format select the type of download format you want okay the fill all custom cells so sometimes uh, for example, if you're downloading sales, you'll get your one tax key, but you're going to get maybe a couple lines of sales. So say the property you're downloading has has three sales, you know, um, so you're going to get one line with the TMK data, the owner, and one line with the sales. But below the sales, you're going to have, it's actually going to take up three rows because, you know, there's three sales. To the left is going to be all, they're just going to be blank. Um, I should show you an example. That would be a good idea. So instead of just talking about it. Oops. So let's see. Sale date. Sale price. Okay. Apply changes. Uh, we don't need this many. Let's just do four or something. I'm going to run my download. Okay. Let's pop it open. Okay. So 
um, this is what I was talking about. So I have my one line with my owner and my tax key. But if I go over to the side, there's a 2003 sale and it looks like there's a 1991 something else happened also. But notice how these are all blank. So you just have to know that it, it is just corresponding above. So this 1991 sale is on this tax key, this above tax key here. Um, if you do want to fill in these cells, like if um, it is a problem, maybe the program you're exporting to doesn't like this these blanks, what you can do is, um, yeah, you can close these tabs. You can go into the options, fill all custom cells. Now when I run my search, I should not have any blanks. Yeah, so instead of leaving these blank down here, it just filled it in with uh, whatever's above it. You know, that does actually correspond with this cell over here. So that is your fill custom cells. If you don't like the blanks, you go ahead and use that. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, format, saving, options. Okay, well, um, yeah, thank you for joining me on this video. Hope you um, just go ahead and play with the system. Try not to download something really humongous. Um, again, if the server is working for about four minutes, that means your request is too big and it's just going to drop your request it's just going to fail so you do kind of want to narrow it down and you know specifically get what you want meaning you know some people feel like they want every bit of information when they're downloading but if it's not necessarily don't add it because if you're getting if you're trying to download a thousand properties every column you you add on that's a, a thousand more cells that the system needs to generate, you know. And if it's if it's not necessarily, just just don't include it on your on your spreadsheet. But um, but yeah. So feel free to stick around to go to our next video, or if not, have a great day. Aloha.